Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Today I have a bit of a rickety project. So Chris and I picked up this bench seat. Um, it was probably about a year or two ago from uh, an old farm, farm sheet that we were cleaning out. So we were able to just pick through it and grab whatever we wanted. So this one here is what we grabbed and I'm gonna replace all of the uh, timbers on there and the screws because they're a bit rusty clean it up and we'll have a nice new seat for this position here. So in the same place, when we were picking through the shed, there were a whole heap of uh, timber picket fence palings. So some of them were brand new still in the packet. Um, we've just gone and taken all of those as well. Chris has cut them down to size for me and I'll just screw them, sand them, give them a bit of an oil and Put them all together. Hang around. So it's a really hot day where we are today and I've decided to bring this up on the deck and work in a little bit more shade and have the fernery as a nice backdrop. I might even put the sprinkler on to keep myself cool later. So I've popped some towels underneath here and what I'm going to do first is just spray some lubricant or spray a um, whatever this is. I'm using Lanox and that's just to help loosen up the screws or the bolts that are underneath here so just going to put a little bit on there towels on the ground just so that i don't drip too much onto the deck so i'll go and do that with all of the screws bolts at both ends wait a little while and then i'll loosen them So I'm not taking all of the boards out straight away because I just want to um, make a start on these boards. So what I've done is I've drawn a line down the centre of the board on each end and I actually want to find where the holes will go. So I'm just going to slot this in on the side here because it's a little bit of a, a crease that it goes into. So if I slot that in there and find the drawn line that I have in the centre, I can mark where my screw holes are going to go. And do the same for the other side. And I've just marked the centre where the screw is there with the line there and that's where my screw holes will be. And that will be the same all the way down, assuming it's all nice and even. I'll do the same with the top one because this rail here is probably about half the width or just a little bit more than half the width of the other boards. Okay, so I can take all my boards now, go and draw all the holes, then I'm going to sand the timbers and then I'll um, oil them as well before I get back to this. The timbers have all been marked with a centre line and what I need to do now is drill a hole here for my bolts to go in. Now I've just got a jig here made up with a just a piece of angle bracket and I've got Chris to drill a hole in, a larger hole here, which is where I'm going to drill all my holes for my bolts. So this is just a, um, a jig so that I don't have to go and measure each time. Now that I have drilled all the holes in each end of the timbers, I'm going to go and sand them down and then we'll prep them for um, some kind of oil or stain. All right, what I'm going to do now is use this sander just to give all the boards a quick sand and then I'll be ready to um, oil or stain it. I haven't decided which way I'm going yet. Are you coming to help me, Coco? Me? Coming to help? The heat sapped our energy terribly. Boxes don't like the heat, do they? Hey? 
In the interest of safety, I do have a face mask to put on, so I, I will be wearing that whilst I'm sanding. And if you want to make one of these yourself, you can because there's a link just up here to a previous video I've done. So I will be wearing a mask for safety whilst sanding. absolute stinker of a day today it is so hot so I've gone and put my boards under the fernery at the moment it's the coolest place I've got for doing the staining I don't want to get any mess on the deck so the boards have been sanded down and just the dust has been wiped off and I'm ready now just to give these a stain or a seal them and I'm just using Cabot's natural decking oil this is something that was left over in somebody's shed that we've cleaned out a long time ago colour is Merbu, uh, which will suit the deck actually, but I'm just using this because it's what we had in the shed. It's all about trying to reuse um, as much as we can that was old and try and get into the tin. Well, that was a bit difficult. The tin had been sealed for so many years it was really difficult to try and get into it. But it's open now and I'm going to end up using the entire contents of this tin on these boards. The boards will soak up a lot of the, um, the oil so I think I'll use pretty much all of it. Okay, so I've got the sides of my seat here and all I'm going to do is wash them up in some hot soapy water. I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to clean it right back and then give it a spray, but I actually like the patina that's on there as it is. Um, it's a really good rustic look and I'm going to keep it that way. So all I'm going to do is just wash off all the grime and the grease from the spray that I used earlier and then I'm going to put the chair back together again. So I'm just using the head of a broom to clean this. Get all the cobwebs off and just all the grime and any excess grease. Rightio, the boards have all dried and I'm ready now to put them into the seat. Now I've got the saw horses supporting the sides of the legs just so that they don't fall over when I'm um, putting the new timbers back on because they are quite heavy. this just to keep it in place whilst I'm actually tightening up all the bolts and I just wanted to make sure that the uh, sides are actually square so I can tighten it all up and then I'll just have to put the centre strapping on and the underneath supports. just finding the center point of the seat now so that I can put this brace down and then I'm going to start drilling the holes and securing that down. So I've marked the center of the, um, the seat where this brace is going to go and I'm just going to pre-drill some holes and start inserting the screws. That 
is done. Now we can test it out. Ah, that's cool. You Come looked, and join me. You looked a bit cautious. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be confident. That's good. Yeah, it's comfy. Excellent. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you next time. <laughs> That's really good. So I'm pretty happy with this. It's um, it's very very sturdy. I can bounce around on it. Not that I really want to, but um, yeah, I'm very very happy with how this has turned out. Except for one thing, when I was drilling the holes at the back to put the strap in down, I actually went a little bit too far with my drill. Um, so I do have a little drill hole here, but look, there's so many holes in this timber, it's not going to matter. I'm just going to touch that up with some of the stain that I used and it'll just blend in like the rest of the floors. So there you go. Um, not a bad little project. Kept the, um, I've kept all the original screws for this project so it, looks, it still looks nice and rustic and I think it's turned out really well. Let me know what you think. Catch you next time.